G'day and welcome to Country Music World, I'm Mick and I'm Jay and on today's episode of CMW we are talking to a man who is absolutely nailing every chart in the country at the moment. His brand new album Stories Through Time has a swag of great songs and he's just happened to written them all himself. Yeah, he's a great family man and his dedication to his music is remarkable to say the least. He's had three number ones this year, two ICMA nominations for Tamworth 2017, a couple of Southern Star Award nominations and he's got a new video out on CMC and that's just a few of the things he's done this year. Sit back, relax and let's get to know a little bit more about Billy Bridge. So we're going to cut across to Billy Bridge who's probably down in sunny Melbourne right now I would think, in, uh, tucked away in an office somewhere. So you, we got you online there Billy? Certainly have me. How you going, mate? Hey. How you going, buddy? Welcome to Country Music World. Thank you for having me on. And uh, and thank you for uh, taking the time out of your day. You're in your lunchtime there? Yeah, yeah, a little bit of a break. You know, just snuck off to a meeting room so we can have a chat. <laughs> Hopefully you don't get in too much trouble. Um, hey, uh, Billy, so our, our uh, idea for calling you today is basically to, to let everyone know about what's going on with you and what's happening in your family life and all that good old stuff and let's talk about some music. So I guess we just get into it, Jay. Let's get into it, mate. So Billy, what's um, what got you into country music in the first place, mate? Um, well, I didn't know any other music but my dad, really, when he, when he started singing, but little did I know the stuff I was listening to was Jim Rams and Charlie Pride and Hank Williams and all that sort of stuff that dad used to sing, you know. When we used to have these gatherings at home and, you know, dad sit around with the guitar lots of his friends would come around and there'd be sing-alongs and all sorts of stuff and that's what started me musically. Um, I think I was about eight and I got up and sang a song with him, you know, a little boy soprano singing Bill Bailey. And, um, <laughs> but, um, and then I discovered these artists through, you know, finding out that it wasn't actually dad's songs, you know. <laughs> there was these guys called Hank Williams and, and, and Jim Reeves and all those guys around. So, your dad must have written some good songs in your mind. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's an incredible way to grow up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My brother, you know, played play guitar. Mum used to get up and sing. My sister played piano, so there's plenty of music in the house. Yeah, nice. Yeah. You're born to do it, mate, by the sounds of it. Yeah, yeah, well, it was... It was a, it, Dad was a bit surprised when I got up that time and, and said, um, can I sing a song, Dad? And he's like, well, what are you going to sing? What do you know? And I said, I've been listening to you for about five years, so <laughs> I should be able to remember one or two, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And life comes full circle because my kids do the same now. Yeah, awesome. Right, well, let's let's talk about your current music. You got a new album out, and it's going great guns for you. There is, uh, and it's great, good album too. By the way, we, me and Mick have both heard it. I've heard it once. You've heard it a few times. I've heard it once. Just yeah, once or twice. Just, just yeah. once. Yeah, yeah, just one time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what can you what can you tell the viewers about the new album, mate? Well, you know we. we in that beautiful studio you're sitting in up there, we recorded it. The bloke sitting next to you produced it, and he's a genius. So we got a great result. Gen um, genius is a big word, mate. <laughs> um, you want to see him at work, Jay. It's only, it's only seven letters. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, the whole combination of the guys that are up there in Townsville playing on it, and you know, mixed production, and then the overseas guys that played on it, it just came together so well. And then it was, you know, it's a long time in the making of, you know, some of the songs are 16 years old. Um, but it was about time for me because it had been about eight since I recorded before. Um, it's not going to be that long before I record again, hopefully. And, and we'll, um, but all of the songs, the, the thing that I'm really proud about is that it's Billy Bridge has got a writing credit on every song on the album. Yeah. Um, and I've never done that before. And I think that is a huge difference as, as a musical artist is that, I'm recording and then going out and performing my own stuff all the time. We work with a lot of you know artists all, all, all walks of life, Billy. And what you said there about getting a right on your own songs on the entire album—that's a lot harder than it actually sounds. It is, and, and look, I, I, if songs had come along that would have been would have blown me away and that, and, and blown one of my songs off the album, then that wouldn't have, it would have been no great to make the album a great album. But, um, you know, you, you worked as hard on it as I did, and, and we, we challenged, I challenged myself, you challenged me, um, and, and made the songs 
fit together and, and, and come together really, really well. What's your pick, Billy? Which which is the song? Which is the one? If you can only have one song off that uh, album, Storage Your Time, which would be the one you'd take away? You only have one option. Which one? Um, when you it's really close to my heart, so I'd probably say that. Why when you? Tell, tell us the story about when you, Billy. Well, it's a, it, um, Rebecca and I, with my wife, when we first started going out together, we had a lot of resistance from a lot of people, especially music people. But we had a lot of support from a lot of people in the music industry too. Um, and people thought it was a bit strange, you know, there's a little bit of a match gap and all those sort of things. And um, they thought it was, wasn't a great choice to make more than anything, but um, we just knew all along that it was right. So when we came to do, do the album, and, and I really wanted to do a duet with, with Ben because she's my favourite singer. So I thought, well, why go and do a cover? Why, why think about spoiling that run of original songs? Let's sit down and write our story because the, the album's called Stories Through Time and, and it was a pretty good story to, to fit into the album. Yeah, it's a great story. Now that song, we knew, that's that's out right now. Yeah, that's the new single. It's um, single. Number one, Flyers Come to Visit Me. Um, <laughs> that was number one. Yeah, yeah, number one. Yeah, it went to number one, stayed there for three weeks recently and um, the video clips out on CMC and he's on YouTube as well. Yeah, nice. Now, Billy, you're a, a pretty busy guy normally outside of your music. I mean, you, you work a full-time job, desk job. You know, you're in your office at work right now and, you know, we, we know that you, you've got some kids and uh, and you've got a wife that requires some maintenance every now and then. And uh, we, we love that, don't get me wrong. She's, she's, pretty, she's pretty low, mate. She's pretty low, mate. She's all right. But, you know, we're, we're both husbands and we know that even she'll low maintenance wives... Low, I know. We, we know that low maintenance wives still require some sort of maintenance at times. So with a, with a full-time job and, and a new album out and you're cutting videos and you're releasing singles and you're doing radio and you've, you've got kids and you've got all this other stuff, what's a normal day for you, mate? So let's, let's go from wake-up time to sleep time. On a random day? <laughs> um, pretty early start in the morning, you know, five o'clock up down the gym and that gives me a chance to, to kick off the day and not take up much of the kids' time because they're all asleep. Uh, then I head off to work and, and you know, spend I'm the day here working. I thought there was only one five o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you get up at five too, so you don't bother me at five either. <laughs> oh, it's, the, it's, the one, it's the one when you're coming home, Jay. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> right. I got it. Exactly. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, you know, work and depending on, on the on the day of the week, we've got the kids have got their sport after after work. And, you know, we're taking the basketball or in the in the footy season, AFL footy season, I'm coaching the footy side as well. So it, it is pretty full on, you know. Morning weekends were up pretty early for basketball or footy and but you wouldn't have it any other way. Like you, as long as you're busy you're doing something. Um, I think if you if you're not busy you get bored. So so on a normal week you, you work your your nine to five? You go to the gym prior. How many gigs average would you do a week, Bill? Three or four? Yeah, I'll probably over the course of the year, two or three on average. Yeah. Um, you know, I've got one that I do every Friday night down at the Water State Cafe in Sanctuary Lakes, and then I add some mothers in it every now and then. But, you know, I try not to overload it too at times because the kids need me around too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. Otherwise, I just have to leave pictures on the wall. But. Oh, man, it's great to see that you're out and you're working all the time. Yeah. And, and you still seem to make some time for your family. That's really cool. It's harder than it sounds. Do the kids come to the gigs at all, Bill? Yeah, yeah, quite often, you know. And, um, you know, Harmony loves jumping up and singing along. So we've expanded a repertoire from Just You Are My Sunshine to Bedley, You Are My Sunshine and Let the Sun Shine In. <laughs> <laughs> She'll probably be singing yours in, your, in a mum songs too now, wouldn't she, I think? <laughs> She'll be singing a few of those. Yeah, no, it'll be, and, you know, they've all got up on it. On a, on a festival stage with us once and saying, you know, if I get to the rainbow with us, which is really cool. Um, but, yeah, they'll, they'll come when they can. And, you know, if, if it's a late one, they can't come along. But generally, they'll, they'll be down on a Friday night having dinner when I'm playing, so it's pretty cool. Nice. Of course. Mate, um, you've been at it for a while and you, you've recorded and you've got a fair bit of experience that other people don't have. What advice would you have for up-and-coming artists? I think the biggest thing I learned early really is it, it, there's two things, right? And I'm a big believer in I think or OPE, other people's experience. Yep. So if you want to get somewhere, seek out the people that are there and, and ask them the questions. Don't 
none of these people will tell you to go away. You know, you can sit down and talk to Troy Cassett and that and, and that because that's where you want to get one day, you know. So what do you have to do to get there? Um, and the other thing is do everything yourself. Um, you don't need a manager when you're 16 or 17 starting out. If you, if you can't manage yourself, you can't be managed, I reckon. So learn, learn the stuff that you, that you need to do. Learn how to, how to book a gig, how to get ready for a gig, how to, you know, how to, um, all, all the components, how to advertise yourself on, on social media. If, if you don't know it, learn it. Because um, you can't rely on someone else to do it for you forever. That's yeah. great advice. That's yeah, really good advice. Really good. I like that. Hey, uh, Bill, so let's going to wind this up now. So where can people see you, mate? If, uh, you, you know, you're down in Victoria, that sunny state of Victoria. So on, on a regular, where can people see you and what's coming up for you in the next few weeks or the next month or so? Well, the regular Friday night is, is at the Waterstone Cafe in Sanctuary Lakes, which is uh, a nice little spot. I've been doing that for nearly six years on a Friday night now, which is, which is amazing. It's really cool. Um, and all the other gigs, I mean, every one of my gigs I keep updated because I do my own website as well, those things I do. And um, so all of my gigs are at billybridge.com, are up to date as they come in, so people can find me there on the gig guide and, and all sorts of stuff on there. Um, we've got the big one at the end of September coming up, which I'm really, really excited about, and I'm doing a big muster. Um, there's, a, there's another bloke, Keith Urban, someone, or something like that. <laughs> 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 so, you know, Troy Casadale's on that gig, a bunch of other, others on there, Rebecca's as well. Yes, yeah, great so and then we've head over to Mildura for the Independent Country Music Awards because we've got a few nominations. Album of the Year, Mick Locker. And, um, Who would have thought? Male vocalist of the year as well, so we'll see how we go over there. And, um, so it's a busy time and um, heading into Tamworth. Tamworth's looking really busy too, so we'll have plenty of gigs here. And they're going to all be announced pretty soon. Nice. Well, yeah. Billy, it's been, a, it's been a pleasure talking to you, mate. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your day. At work and uh, and having a bit of a chat. Hopefully, uh, Beck doesn't watch this and get too cranky at us. <laughs> we love you, Beck. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> and um, so we're going to make sure all of your details are in the description links below here, so uh, people can get in contact with you through your website. One more time, Billy. It's billybridge.com.com dot com, and obviously Billy Bridge on Facebook or Billy Bridge Music on Facebook. Yeah, Billy Bridge Music on Facebook and. Um you know, most of the stuff you'll find is there, especially the gig guide on, on the website, it's always up to date. Great. Well, awesome. uh, we're going to make sure that everyone that sees this video goes and makes a connection with you guys. And um, and it's been an absolute pleasure for for you, for us to have you on Country Music World. It certainly has. And, uh, and we're real glad and we look forward to talking to you again in the future. Awesome, mate. And thanks for having me on Country Music World. Good luck with it all. No worries, no Billy. Worries. Thanks, Billy. Thanks, mate. See you later. See ya. He's a, uh, he's a good guy, Billy. I've, I've known Billy for a long, long time, and, uh, and I'm really glad to see he's having so much success with this album. It's proof that hard work pays off. You just look at all the nominations he's getting, and he deserves every bit. Yeah, he does. He's, his work ethic is, uh, is pretty crazy, and I mean, I've known Billy for a long, long time now, and yeah. we've been mates for a lot of years, and he's, he's never changed. You know, he's a guy that'll get out of bed at five o'clock every morning, and he'll do it eight days a week. You know, yeah. and then he'll go and do two or three gigs every weekend, and and he finds time for his beautiful kids. You know, he's got three beautiful kids, and uh, and two older ones that have grown up, yeah. and uh, and he spends a lot of time with Rebecca. You know, and, and his beautiful wife and their family, the bond that they have is just it's beautiful. I love it, mate. I think everyone should get behind Billy Bridge. It's a great album. Do yourself a favour and get a copy of it, whether it's on iTunes or off his website. It's well worth a listen. We'll make sure all Billy's links are below in the description. Yep. And uh, please get in contact with Billy and, uh, and support his music. Everyone here at Country Music World, Billy, we wish you the best. And uh, we look forward to talking to you again soon, mate. Check out Billy Bridge. So remember, here on CMW, we love giving away stuff. Oh, we love it, mate. We love giving away mystery love prizes. It. And right now on our Facebook page, which is right where, Jay? Right there, Mick. Right there. Go and hit that link and uh, head over to our Facebook and vote for your favourite Australian country music artist. But also, remember, if you want us to interview an artist in particular, be sure to write it in the comments underneath the video. Where are they, Mick? 
underneath the description here. Underneath the description of the video and we'll do our best to get onto them and have a chat to them. Yeah, so head over to our Facebook and we will draw the winner out on our Monday edition of the video. We will. And a prize could be coming your way. All you gotta do is vote, it's free. It takes about two seconds. Yep. Just like that. Even I can do it. No, you can't. We can't do that. Okay. Make sure you subscribe and like our videos. We've got heaps more of these things coming. There's another one coming out on Saturday. And then we're gonna do another one on Monday and every other day in between. Thank but you. subscribe and we'll let you know about that. That's right, and you never know who we'll be talking to, a major label artist, but we love promoting the indies as well. We'll have another video coming your way real soon, but until then, thank you very much for joining the country music world.